My jeans, my shoes, that's way. I'm keen, I'm cool, you lame. Make 10,000 today. That is minimum weight. My jeans, my shoes, that's all right, what's up, everyone? Um, if you like what you saw in the intro, um, stick around. Um, so, already I already have my clips velocity and it's already synced and everything, and the clips are by Exotic, by the way. So let's just watch what I have so far. My jeans, my shoes, that's way. I'm keen, I'm cool, you lame. Make ten thousand today. That is minimum weight. My jeans, my shoes. All right, so that's pretty fire, honestly. And so you see, I have these um, markers marked at the beat, on the beat drops. So I'm gonna add like a little impact on them. So I have like all these presets I named. I'll show you the settings. So pretty much I just drag this up here. Um, so it's got camera shake, just copy these settings. And yeah, so pretty much at the start, keyframe it at 100, obviously, and then at the end of the adjustment clip, bring it back down to zero. So it's like, it's like a screen pump. And then I also have like, um, a, um, I've added a red distort. Just press Alt Y and then change the, go to note, go to this thing and then go to node sizing and change this to like 1.03. Um, okay. So then I added that there. So I'll just copy this, control C, go to the next one, control V. Go to the next one, control V, and so on. And so now it'll look like this. Oh, it's a bit laggy. My jeans, my shoes, that's way. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, so now I'm gonna show you how to do a mask pain effect. Uh, shout out to Joshi. Um, you guys probably all know him by now. But anyway, so just go where you see like the siphon, the blue, first pop up, split it, and then go one frame to the right. Put it again and then go to this one frame clip hold alt whoops and then drag it up so you make a duplicate now go to this duplicate go to the color tab and pretty much what you're going to want to do is go here and then click this one looks like a pen and just now just start making a cutout of the guy see you when i'm done All right, so now once you've done that, right click over here and add alpha output and then drag this blue one over here and connect it. So pretty much now you have like a little thing here and then now go to change clip speed and just make it um, freeze frame. So change that, replace, and now you can now just drag it out. So now, don't. I know it looks weird, but we'll fix that. So. Now go from when this first this frame happens, go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Drag this out here. And so now um, here, go to um, position, keyframe that there. And now go all the way over here. And now keyframe that again. And then just make this 1,200. No, you can still see his gun there. One, three. There, that's enough. All right, so that's good. And now, um, to make it look even cooler, get this one, hold all, and just make a copy of that one. And now this one, um, just gonna keyframe at the keyframe it over here again, and then go to the start. And now keyframe the X to negative one thousand is perfect. All right, so now, so that already looks really good. All right, so now you're gonna wanna select these, um, right click and then make it a compound clip for both of them. And then now you're gonna need universe plugins for this. So I'll link them in the description. Uh, it's a little, it's, it's kind of hard to download them, but it's, it's worth it. So pretty much just search in uni.ecto and now drag this on both of them. And so it'll look like this. So that looks dope. That looks that looks crazy cool. And so if you want to change the color, um, um, this is pretty good the default settings. But another one I know is the first one white, and then this one make it like red. And the, do it for the bottom one too. Or you could have like 
both different colors, so it's like kind of like fire and ice. It looks pretty cool too. So now I'm just gonna do a little opacity fade. So uh, move these out of the way. We'll know where to put them. So pretty much go right before the numbers pop up. Go here, um, keyframe opacity, um, and then bring it down to maybe like 40%, and then go a little forward. Yes. Right here, and then bring that up to like, oh, 100. And now we'll bring these back. And then, yeah. Also, another thing you should do is um, go to playback, um, timeline proxy, and core resolution. This makes it the smoothest playback it can possibly be because like, it's doing the lowest resolution. But if you have Uni Ecto, it's just gonna be laggy no matter what. There's nothing you can do about it. But anyway, so let's just do a just a cool effect on this one. So I'll drag these away for now. Go to the frame before the numbers pop up right there. I have a I have a um like a preset, but I'll show you the settings in it. So go to effects and then go to camera shake and pretty much um go to the beginning. At the beginning, keyframe motion scale at zero. I'll show you the settings real quick. You can um, copy them. And then getting at zero and then at the very end it's at like five right there. And then the other one, other one, um, the the warp. You need sapphire plugins for this. That'll be linked in the description as well. But pretty much um, halfway through the clip, keyframe it at one, and then at the end, keyframe it like zero point eight or something. And here's the settings for those. And yeah. And so now, um, pretty much what I want to do. So like right around here, maybe. I'm um, go to video and keyframe, key my bad, rotation angle and zoom to crop. Keyframe those at zero and then go to the very end of the adjustment clip, keyframe those again, and then pretty much, um, actually go to the, yeah, end of the clip and then keyframe them like that. And then you can see what they look like. So that's a bit too much. Yeah, so like zero, negative eight is probably good, so. A negative eight, yep. And then at the end here, zoom, um, make the zoom like 1.2. So you don't see in the black bars. And so now we can drag on the, the Uni Ecto again. There we go. Drag that down. And so now it's probably not going to be able to play back. Yeah, I'll try to keyframe. Yeah. It's really, really laggy, but you saw in the intro what it looks like, and it's pretty good. And then now I'll show you just another effect we can put on this clip. Um, shout out to Joshi, he gave me this in his editing pack, but I'm just changing it up a little bit. Pretty much um, here, um, whoops, right there, make this, drag this on. Um, you're gonna need the universe plugins for this. Also, um, here's the here's the hollow matrix settings. Uh, if I load. All right, so just copy all of these settings. Um, it's a ton of them, but yeah, this is how it looks really good. Wow, that's a lot of settings. Holy crap! All right, I don't think all of them need to be changed. But anyway. So this is in Joshi's editing, free editing pack. Um, I'm just showing it to you guys. Um, but there's uh, cool colors you can do. So this one I like, um, light blue, and then regular blue. So it's that looks really cool. And then over here, just um, put this down. So now, so yeah. And also I have some shakes on here, I'll show you my settings. So this is a, a Y shake. It's seven frames. One, two, three, four. No, it's four frames, never mind. And these are the settings for it. My channels on this shake, which I key from at four. And then here's my settings. You can copy them. Um, here, and then I have my red at like 2.5. And then for the hollow matrix, by the way. Um. 
to um to make it fade out you change blend with original so at the beginning it's like maybe like 60 and drag it down to maybe like 20 or something but yeah i can't really feel this back it's just, these are the two laggiest effects i've come across so, yeah. all right so now i'm just going to show you um cool underwater effect uh for this second clip so pretty much you're gonna go um right before your marker so like maybe right here clip i mean um cut that there and then i'm sure what the f don't want to do that right. it's like right there maybe and then go here and then turn on the equalizer drag the one down to 1k and then the four a little past 4k i think it's about to crash yep hoggers all right so i'm back after it crashed pretty much just go to equalizer and drag the one down to 1k and the four down a little past 4k and now it'll sound like this and just to make it sound a little better um drag this out so it kind of fades that looks pretty cool sounds pretty cool actually and now go to your marker and then um i'm just gonna drag in a preset i have so it's the same pre preset as the the shake as the last effect but um i just don't have the uni universe hollow matrix on it so you just keep those settings and it'll look cool so yeah Make 10, yep that's pretty cool all right so now i'm gonna show you how to do a really really cool color isolation so let's get into it so um go over your clip and go to the color tab um <clears throat> and then press alt l make a copy go to the first one Go over here and then turn the saturation down to zero. So the first clip is black and white. And if you still see color, it's totally fine. It's just this one has color. So yeah. And so now um, go over to this one and then you just touch anywhere on the screen and you isolated a color pretty much. So you see that's blue. And so sometimes um, you want to try to get like a whole part. And so this is, I want the sky now, right now. And so, um, this part's just kind of blue, so if you want more blue, press Alt-L again, make another copy, and just select another part of the sky. And so you just keep on building it up, so, until you have the full sky, so. And so yeah, that looks really cool. You can only like see the blue parts of it and yeah so now um also um go to the frame before the numbers pop up there and um cut the clip and pretty much go back into the color tab and you're just gonna want to delete all these or just um unselect them from it so you can't see it anymore and yeah, and now actually what we can do is, um, nope, not there, um, go into the color tab and select your first clip, the black and white one, and pretty much what you can do is go to this thing and keyframe corrector 1 and make the saturation at the start 50 and then maybe go like two thirds of the way in and make it zero. So then like you can slowly start seeing that the sky is not changing any color and that looks really cool so yeah and then i'm just gonna add my um shake on it again because i like it um yeah so paste and yeah. yeah so that's pretty much it for this tutorial guys um if you enjoyed um uh, please consider subscribing it takes me a while to make these videos and everything else and if you enjoy my editing style or you like it um consider checking out my montages it takes me a while to edit them and yeah peace